Some call it the train to nowhere. California's high speed rail billions have already gone into the project, but will we ever see the trains rolling? Success of the high speed rail is expected to reshape the Central Valley, but the project is insanely over budget at this point. Yeah, so the question is, how is it still moving forward? We sent KTLA 5's Chip Yost on the road to investigate. Here in Central California, construction of the long overdue and way over budget high speed rail line that may eventually shuttle passengers between San Francisco and Los Angeles in less than three hours is underway, as we saw firsthand during a recent visit. Right now, we're standing on the Hanford Viaduct, which is essentially a massive 6,300 foot long land bridge that will one day, if everything goes as planned, have four lanes of high speed rail track on it and a regional station where people can get on and off the train if they want to. The viaduct should be finished sometime next year. Multiple other structures along the route have already been completed. While Governor Gavin Newsom has repeatedly voiced his support for the work. You can't say this enough. The high speed rail is more than a train project. It's about economic transformation. It's about unlocking the enormous potential of the valley. Critics like state Senate minority leader Brian Jones think the project should be stopped in its tracks. I, I think this is going to be one of the most historical government boondoggles ever in the United States of America. The controversial project was approved by California voters in 2008, when the first phase from San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim was expected to be up and running by 2020 at a cost of about $33 billion. As we sit here in 2024, it's nowhere close to being done, and the estimated cost to complete it has ballooned to as high as $128 billion, which is around $100 billion more than what the California High Speed Rail Authority has budgeted to spend. So a decision was made to spend the state and federal money the authority does have and some officials hope to get in the near future on completing a much shorter 171 mile section of the project from Merced to Bakersfield. Our priority right now is to deliver the Merced to Bakersfield line ready for ridership by between 2030 and 2033. The rail authority recently received a $3.1 billion infusion from the Biden administration to help reach that goal. Even so, it will still need to find around five to seven billion dollars more to do so. As for when the San Francisco and Los Angeles Anaheim legs will be finished, nobody can say, because in addition to funding questions, there are unanswered engineering questions as well. In total, in Southern California, we have about 40 miles of tunneling to do, and we haven't done the geotechnical work yet to know what we're dealing with. So it could go really well and it could go not so well. And that's definitely the biggest question mark we face from an engineering standpoint. If and when the complete phase one section from San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim is ever complete, those 2008 voters were also told connections to Sacramento, the Inland Empire and San Diego could follow. In Hanford, California, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. A lot of questions, a lot of ifs. Mm -hmm. More to come. Oh.